Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello and welcome to the video for what is the editor utility widget set current level by name node. So this is our set current level name set current level by name node. Note it does require the editor scripting utility plugin to be enabled or it's simply not going to show up. And if we run our example, I'm going to click the set current level by name node, nothing happens. This does not set the actual level that you have loaded. It doesn't load a level. This will set the current level in a multi-level or a streaming level setup or something we have persisted in sub-levels as the current level for editing. So let me show you that. So let's go ahead and go to our content browser. We're going to open up our main level. In our main level, we have a persistent level and a sub-level. You notice the persistent level is bolded blue. And if I double-click on the sub-level, it's now bolded blue. This is your current level. So anything I did right now, if I added something, for example, it would go into my sub-level. If I open up my persistent level, that's my current one here. You can see this in this viewport drop-down. Anything I do now is going to happen in the persistent level. This node, you put in the level name itself. This level name needs to match the content browser name, or in this case, you can see it up here. So map underscore EUW underscore sublevel1, which is the same thing you can see here. And if I click our button now, it's going to attempt to set the current level based on this name as our current level. So let's go ahead and note we have persistent level as our bolded. We will run our button. You'll now notice map underscore EUW sublevel selected. We can go back and do it again. And every time I push the button, it's simply going to change our current selected level to our chosen level name based on our input string. Well, input name, not a string. And of course, if it returns true or false, if it's successful or not. That's it. It's a really simple node. It's useful if maybe you want to have a master list of all of your current levels. And you want to easily be able to choose them and edit them. Or maybe you are doing some scripting and you need to move some things. You could, for example, say select everything in a current level, change the current level to something else, and then move everything over there if you want to quickly and easily move items back and forth or redo things in an automated way.